what, what's the routine? What's the routine you're doing tonight? I'm doing nine, twelve, and three. It don't mean a thing. And then chest is doing it. What about a stand-up routine? Are you gonna do a stand-up routine? Oh yeah, well you told me to do that. Five minutes, but don't do anything too heavy. This crowd's pretty <laughs> stiff. I'll unstiffen a dollar, don't worry. You'll unstiffen it. Oh yeah, don't worry. Okay. This crowd, you don't have to, have to worry. They and I understand each other because we are both at the same part of life. Bottom bottom half of the ninth? No, the last half of the The last half of the ninth. <laughs> Mother, you How many outs? <laughs> <laughs> Who's on base? <laughs> First and second, the basis is loaded. Basis is loaded. Yeah. <laughs> oh my dancing, baby, beach. Give me singing, throw it on each instead of dancing. And I have a one, two, I want two, three, and a one, two, three, and a one, two, three, and a one, two, give me that beat, feel the beat. It's 
wonderful. Uh, the original reason my coming here to Florida was to do a film called Captiva Island. This gentleman came over to me and said that he was making this movie in Florida and uh, he wanted me in the movie because he wanted to make me a movie star. I said, well, I'll be. <laughs> Can you jive turkey? I'm keeping it nice. So. <laughs> um, Give another mimosa. <laughs> and it was true. And I came down to Florida and I joined Bill Cobbs, Ernest Borgnine, Artie Johnson, and we were the actors that John was put together for this movie called Captiva Island. We shot all around Florida, Bonita Springs, Naples. So I said, well, where do we see Captiva? <laughs> we never saw Captiva. <laughs> and 20 years later, I've been invited to a place called Captiva Island. <laughs> and here I am. <laughs> Maestro, as my friend Duke Ellington always said, it don't mean nothing if it ain't got that sweet. at that time, I'm going to ask you if you wouldn't mind asking Norma a leading question about, Norma, what, what, what is this about these chicken dinners that they used to do at the, uh, at the shows? What can you tell us about that? And then Norma will say a little bit about, well, you know, chicken potato salad. You put those two together, you've got a party started. Good potato salad made with uh, Idaho potatoes. Boy, that stuff is smooth and it slides down your palate and <laughs> Your body is happy, and when your body is happy, you portray happiness, and you give out happiness, and you get happiness in return. Like I always say, believe me, you give me a bucket of fried chicken and a basic CD, I swear I can solve all the problems. <laughs> Any questions? Anybody got a question for Norma? Yes, Queenie. You know, I've, it's been such a pleasure to get to know you, Norma, and I realize you've lived in some really exciting places yeah. in the world. I'm kind of wondering how you feel about being in Fort Myers, Florida. Well, it's the end of my life. <laughs> but you know, you know uh, according to the, the knowledge of, of time, 
but what a wonderful place to end. <laughs> you know? <laughs> it is so, for the first time in my life, I know what it is to be quiet. <laughs> life is quiet. And believe it's so quiet where I live, you can hear a rat piss on top. <laughs> called the internet and to the computer. <laughs> I, wrote, I wrote my first book with long hair. I wrote every page. But I love the feeling of a pencil in my hand. And I can think as I'm writing. And that's a beautiful thing. And that's the one thing I'm so sad about the younger generation. Yeah. They don't know the beauty of what it is to write. Because when you write it and you can see it, it's beautiful. The computer is wonderful, but your life is turning into a robot. You know, it, uh, it's mechanical. And I've got to dip, 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 dip. And God damn, what This cell phone is driving me crazy. I have to be a part of it because they say I have to keep up with what's going on. But John here, he is the generation that created the cell phone. They do everything on the cell phone. I think they even have sex on it. <laughs> it's a lot cheaper, Norma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's your next project? Uh, what's your next project? Well, we're hoping that we can develop the Broadway show. We want to come to Broadway with the show of the greatest swing dancers in the world. And now we can produce those dances, and that's what Chester and I, we're working on that. You know, you came to the right place because there's a lot of money on this island. These people are dying to become Broadway producers. There's one out in the audience that I know. What is the thing? Dave! <laughs> what is that thing at the, the show with the producers when Broderick Crump, when Broderick, uh, Matthew Broderick writes that he wants to become what? A Broadway producer. Okay, Yes, Dave? sir. Who's another one? Norma, you're yes. uh, Positive attitude is a magnet. Thank you. What two or three things would you have us think about so we can get half as much as you have done? Oh, well, I always tell, advise people, listen, if I want to know what my secret is, I said, listen, just be careful and don't go out there and get bit by a mat truck. <laughs> <laughs> but enjoy your life. All the way in the back. Um, who was a better drummer? Weber or Kruppa? Oh, no. You started an argument that has been going on. <laughs> it's a wonderful question because well, you got to remember, uh, Chick Webb was the professor. He was the one that showed the world how to play the drum. Gene Krupa was the young, your teenager that was beginning to play the drum, which he was a dynamite drummer. But believe me when I tell you, when they came together, Chick Webb showed him, he kicked his ass all out of his <laughs> Norman, is, is that a black thing? Of course it's a black thing. I mean, we're the best in the drummers. I mean, we taught white people how to play drums, but drums come, you know where drums come from. They come from black Africa. <laughs> Wear your tap shoes. Oh, um, ladies and gentlemen, wait, wait, now, Mr. Wait, 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 where are your shoes? Um, these are not my, my uh, staff. Uh, ah. Ah. Okay. This is what we call beating the boards. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see what we can come up with. All right. Oh, look at that. Time to go. Bring it up. Okay. That's enough.